Hello, welcome back to Learn Economy. And today we are going to discuss a concept of course theorem in environmental economics. Let's get started. The concept of course theorem is introduced by a British American economist, Ronald Coase, and it was in 1960 that he had introduced this concept. And this paved the way for incentive driven or market based regulatory systems in the economy. Let's discuss more about the course theorem. The theorem explains a situation of conflicting property rights that means there exists more than one party and these parties would be having different interests with them and these interests are conflicting okay and whenever this is the situation they can go for bargaining and what is bargaining they can go for a mutual consensus by going for discussion and this will lead to something called an efficient or effective outcome. And that is what Coase said. Whenever you have conflicting parties, they can sit together and bargain to have an efficient outcome. Okay. And this efficient outcome, which would be derived by going for a bargaining with the conflicting parties, this would be something that is irrespective of which party has initially awarded the property right. And this can happen only if you have zero transaction cost or negligible transaction cost. Or in the words of course, it says that if trade in an externality is possible and there are no transaction costs, bargaining will lead to an efficient outcome regardless of the initial allocation of property rights. So that's it here. The theory could be better explained by going for an example. So I, I have taken here the case of a noise pollution, which is one of the perfect example of negative externality. Isn't it? So a noise pollution, if it is caused, it will bear a cost on the economy. It creates cost on economy or society. Economy or society, whatever it is. So I have taken here the case of a wind turbine. You know that here turbines would be rotated and the rotation of the turbine will cause noise pollution. So let's proceed with the example. Here we should have two parties. I told you that we should have more than one party. Both the parties should have conflicting interests. The one party would be the company. That would be the owner of the turbine. The other party would be the people who bear the cost of noise pollution. So these people might be living in the nearby areas of the turbine. Okay. So people affected by noise pollution. Affected by the noise pollution. Okay. So here we can have two scenarios. Either you can go for the operation of the turbine. Or the turbine can be allowed to operate. You can allow the turbine to operate. Allow turbine to operate. If this can be done, if the benefits created by the operation of the turbine is more than the cost that incurs on the people in the form of noise pollution. Okay, but you will protest. The people in that particular area will be protesting against the uh, company and you can say that yes, the, the protest that is made by the people is something that is genuine and that should be taken into consideration and the turbine company should shut down. The turbine company should shut down if the cost that incurs on people is more than the benefit that it gets. Okay. So, these can be the two situations. You can make the company to operate or you can allow the company to operate if the benefits derived by the company or if the benefits that the company has on the society is more than the cost that incurs on the people. And you can go for shutdown of the company if the cost that it uh, that the company incurs on people is more than the benefit that the company would be creating for the people or for the society. Okay. 
so you have to understand that the rights of uh, and the right and the interest of the company is different from the right and interest of the people so the interest of the company company is to operate this is what the company would like to have and interest of the people is to live in a peaceful atmosphere that is to live in an atmosphere where, where there is no noise pollution and this can happen with shutdown of company both are coming in conflict with each other conflict such a situation both the company and the people they can approach a court the court can tell whose rights are above the others rights it can tell the court it could tell that the right of the company is above the right of the people or it could tell that about the uh, it, it 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 could also tell that the right of the people are above the right of the company whatever okay so the, the court could be able to decide whether the turban company has a right to operate and when turban company operate when turban operates it comes at the cost of people cost of cost of people isn't it but if turban shut down shut down this can come at the cost of the company isn't it so there can be the two possible decision that could have taken by the court the court could have taken either of these or either of these decision and the decision reached regarding the assignment of property rights has no bearing on whether the turbine continue to operate as long as the parties can bargain without cost let's see more about it as i've told you it is always better for the company to operate the company can operate if the benefit that it has or the benefit that it would create as a result of operation is more than the cost that incurs it incurs on the public or the cost that is suffered by the public as a result of the operation of the company in such a case the company can be allowed to operate even though there exists some cost and how can this be possible this can be possible if the company pays some compensation to the household the affected household this can be possible if company pays compensation to household so usually the turban company would be willing to pay some compensation to the household because they always like to stay in the business okay and if this is the case like if the cost that the company would create on the public is more than the benefit that the company would be creating if that is the case the company can shut down if that is the case if the company is shutting down that means that means the household can compensate the company household should compensate the company company okay now if the court decides that the household have the right to live in a quiet place 
then the court will be telling the company to shut down if that means shutting down of the company will bear a cost on the company and in order to cover that cost household should compensate the company okay so the turbans are worth more to the company we know that and what usually we could see is that the turbans or the company that operate the turbans would usually try to bribe it tries to bribe the people so it will go for a mutual consensus it will sit with the people and it will go for bargaining and they will fix a particular amount and the company will say that we will give this amount to you if you are ready to bear the cost and if the people also find it acceptable if they are able to accept the cost if they are able to accept the amount that is offered by the company then the people would accept the amount and will, they will suffer a little bit of noise pollution and this can happen only if the benefit created by the company is more than the cost okay on the other hand if the court decides that the company has a right to operate in turbines the turbines will stay in the business and no money will be changing hands and this can happen if the court if you take the matter to the court okay if you take matter to the court uh, sometimes the court can say that the company has the right to operate so if that is the case if court tells if court tells company can operate then no money is paid to people because the households are not willing to pay enough to convince the turbin company to cease their operation okay so assignment of rights didn't affect the outcome once opportunity to bargain was introduced but property rights did affect the transfer of money between the two parties and the value of operating turbines certain times the benefit created would be greater than the cost as i have told you in if this is the situation it will be very much easy for the company to bribe people and the company will be offering a compensation to the household then it would have been to get the courts involved that is always better rather than making the court to involve in the case it's better for both the parties the company and the people to sit together and go for a mutual consensus if that is the scenario at least one of the party will be getting some compensation either the household would get some compensation or else the company would get some compensation if you make the court to involve in do this matter one party will be in loss but the theory or the theorem of uh, uh theorem which was put forward the cause has lot of lot lot and lots of limitation the theory suffers from lot many limitations and this basically comes from the entonment effect and this would cause a valuation elicited in negotiation which would depend upon something called the initial allocation of property right cost theorem also always say that it doesn't matter who has a property right initially but when it comes to this situation it is very much difficult for the cost theorem to operate also if you are dealing with a lot many number of parties it would be very much difficult to go for a negotiation negotiation will not be feasible here and that's all about the course theorem thank you for watching you can like share and subscribe to this channel for more videos and also you can 
join our free telegram community to discuss your doubts uh, and to get the uh, questions related to some of our uh, discussed topics i'll be providing the links of the very same in the description box and also you can join our uh, telegram community here uh, what i also would like to tell you is that you can download our app and i'll also provide the link of that in the description box i request you to like share and subscribe to the channel for more videos thank you for watching